Hey, good afternoon, people out there in TV Lane and Manchester, New Hampshire, and all the surrounding areas here. Welcome to a new edition of Norm Community Corner. <laughs> That's it, huh? <laughs> yeah, I told you how many remember. As you know, Lori and I have gone on different spiritual paths, and I wish her very well. Mm -hmm. And today it's going to be really exciting. I have two interesting guests, Norm. And I'm going to allow them. And I have a beautiful young lady here who kind of looks like kind of a rebel without a car. <laughs> you look at the hair, you know. But she's got a beautiful smile. A little shy, but we'll get her rid of that for her. You know, when that time goes on. And if you want to introduce yourself, I'd appreciate it. Um, my name is Peace Asselin, and I'm a hypnotist. I do oh. Reiki. I make jewelry. Um, I have workshops. I'm a singer. <laughs> Oh, maybe we'll put you on the spot and sing a song. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what do you think? I huh? think that would be cool, wouldn't it? Okay, and then you want to do it yourself? I am Dr. Jody. I am a holistic doctor out of uh, Drake at Mass. Um, I am, deal with chronic um, illnesses. Um, I help people with chronic illness using nutrition, herbals, and um, energy work. Awesome. Very cool. My name is Carolyn James. I wrote a book about walk-ins. Oh, sure. My name is Carolyn James. I wrote a book about walk-in souls, a soul transfer. And also I'm the grateful founder of HolisticCampus.com, which is um, holistic practitioners from all over the world. On, we all work together to raise the consciousness. Yeah, isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. I'm your host. <laughs> and you are. And <laughs> no, no. But everybody here is, it's a great energy in here. So you're a hypnotherapist. Mm -hmm. Oh, she might have been typing me quiet. Okay. <laughs> I better be careful. <laughs> Actually, you know, I'm a firm believer in hypnotherapy. Four years ago, again in May, my former co host hypnotized me for cigarette smoking. And I haven't had a cigarette since. Awesome. So it does work, Very folks. Cool. It okay. does work. Maybe you should have a hip type for losing weight. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. but, uh, <coughs> or so. your shyness, maybe. <laughs> My, uh, I'm very shy. <laughs> uh, do you have a website? I do. We have two, actually. For the book, it's alifebyrequest.com and then holisticcampus.com with the practitioners. Okay. And you? My uh, website is Nature's Way Holistic. Mine. Website is natureswayholistichealth.com. I'm sorry? Natureswayholistichealth.com. Oh, okay. You want to put your mic right up to you because the call is going to me yelling at you. <laughs> Turn it around that way. And you have a website? I don't. A lot of it's just word of mouth, just traveling. But um, I have a Facebook site that's called Pieces Meditation Healing Room. And by the way, folks, I think we surprised each other. She didn't know you were going to be the guest co -host. No, I right? didn't. <laughs> she was going to be, but then we found that. And then I find out you have, I you have a lot of hidden agendas around. <laughs> uh -oh. Maybe we'll bring out a lot of deep secrets. What do you think? You know, I I go know. for it. I'm well, you know, when you're a reader, you can do that. I believe it. When you can be, I reserved the right to do that. <laughs> Actually, what I'm going to ask you, and then I'm going to go to all three of you. What I'm going to ask you is, how did you get into hypnosis and all this other stuff that you do? Do we make in hypnosis? And all that. Well, I was always interested. See that camera? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was born just inquisitive about why people do what they do, and I just that's how my mind works all the time, just thinking about why people are doing what they do. And I did go to, um, I did get a degree in psychology, but really when I was in college, I mostly just learned about theories, and it never really answered why people do what they do or even how to fix it. Um, I'm, Oh, okay, you want to hit that button? Oh, sorry. Okay. All right. We're going to take a call. Norm's Community Corner. May I help hear you. your... May I help you? <laughs> Hello? Well, um, I'm dialing in to listen to Norm's show today. Well, thank you. How are you? Um, is this Norm? Hi, it, Norm. My you, name is Maureen. I'm fabulous. Thank you. Oh, how good. are you? you, you sound, oh, I am super... Look at how can I be... I know I got... <laughs> Three beautiful ladies here. Maybe I'll go straight. Who knows? But I got three <laughs> beautiful ladies here. You know. I'm sure one of them is Carolyn. <laughs> Carolyn James. Hello, Maureen. Right. Amazing book. Oh, okay. <laughs> have you read? To, uh, have you read I that book have, before? Yes. Oh, you have. Yes. Would, would you recommend it to other yes. people? I absolutely would. Yes, <laughs> it is an amazing story of a real life. Uh, situation. Not only is it that, 
and it's you know, like confirmation of you know our connection to each other even with those that have crossed over yeah. it's an amazing journey and story and I would highly recommend it to anyone yes it's beautifully written and um, I just really loved it good Absolutely no worries you, you got you. her blushing <laughs> yes <laughs> what a, if I may what's her name Maureen. 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 One of the things I I love your energy. Oh, thank you, Norm. I like yours too. Thank you. You have a lot it to offer. Very good. You have a lot to offer, but you've got to become more outward with it. Don't be so shy about it. <laughs> oh my! You know, it's funny. I get that message a lot. I I have a book out there and a few other things, and I am an energy worker, but. I, I need to do more. I know. Do me a favor. I've been hiding a little bit. That's right. Do me a favor. <laughs> Facebook me. We'll get you on my TV show. I'll have you and Carolyn come on together. Oh, my. That'd be fun. <laughs> like she's open that. Oh, my God. Is that you, Carolyn? It's me. <laughs> oh, hi, honey. Love you. Oh, Love you, too. That's not real, man. Well, no, I, see, I'm time. always looking for new guests. Always looking for new people, energy workers, um, hypnotherapists. I just found out this young lady here. Is a hypno I'm always, and then we have the doctor of natural medicine, which I'm excited about. The energy here. I wish you. Yeah. I wish you were here because the energy here is so high that it's that it is fabulous. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I'm a member of Carolyn's Holistic Campus. A uh, beautiful, beautiful group. I don't know if she's mentioned that to you, but well, I'm so we will be. Part of that. And, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we yeah. will be. We will yeah. be talking about that. Beautiful. Oh, it's so great to talk to you guys. I feel. Uh, Feel, you know, kindred spirit connection. Absolutely, absolutely. You, your journey in the spiritual world on is just beginning. Believe me. And even Carolyn yeah. and, and all of us here, it's just the beginning. We haven't even touched the iceberg at the beginning of the spiritual world. <laughs> oh, yeah. Our job is to bring peace yeah. and love to everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and get yeah. rid of the pharmaceuticals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> but that's our job. And you know what? You're going to be fantastic. You're going to become very well known mm -hmm. in a very short time. Oh, well, I'm not looking for fame. I'm just looking to help others because I've been through some stuff. And, you know, if, if my information can help even just one other person, then it's all worth it. Oh, I want her on my show. Yeah, she is awesome. I, want, I definitely want you on my show. You'd be happy. Oh, <laughs> I'm very flattered, Norm. Thank you. <laughs> you have a lot. I, lo I love her energy. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you've been through hell and back. Uh, yeah, a couple times. <laughs> you know what? That's what makes a great worker. You know, that's what makes a great spiritual worker. You, because we've been there. We don't. We don't have to. Our, our, our wife isn't all beds of roses. They're known to be. I think in true. In order to be a true reader, and I'm not knocking that people who have never had a. You know, but in order to be a true leader, a true spiritual guide, they have to have had some problems in their life, and they ha in order to be able to help other people. Does that make sense to you? Sure this does. lady I get beside me, I'm yeah. jealous of her. She's so skinny. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Doesn't that make her jealous? And I love the color of your hair. I and it. I do, too. She and not take a bow so people can see you. Don't be shy. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. There you go. See that? I had that at one time, at least in my dreams, you know. But, uh. <laughs> yeah. But I also will tell you, you've got a lot more excitement coming. You're going to be getting a lot of work out of I forgot to ask your permission. Go and, for it. No, no. But I may I do a quick reading on you? Oh, I would love that. Okay. Yes, you have my full permission. Okay, good. We have to ask permission. Yeah. One of the, you're going to do a lot of work out of Canada. Canada? Yeah. Well, that's interesting. You're going to be doing okay. a lot of work in a lot of places, and you're also going to be having her to improve her college campus. Oh, holistic campus. Oh, very holistic cool. Holistic campus, okay. Holistic she could be campus, one of your teachers. Yes. Very oh, cool. cool. Okay. And that, that's why I've seen cool. the work out of Canada. Mm -hmm. You haven't even started to be successful yet. Believe me when I say It's only been three that. months. <laughs> sorry? It's only been three months. <laughs> when I say you haven't started yet, believe me. But you're doing it with the right integrity. 
And she is too. I don't know. Yes, the one thing is. about her, I love yes, her honesty. Is. I will attest to that, Norm. Yeah. Um, it's such a beautiful community, and um, I'm just really honored to be part of it. Yeah. And yeah, also, if you, the, the one thing I know about you is that you didn't agree with what you were teaching. You, you're not shy about telling it. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm not known for being shy <laughs> with things so, like that. To beautiful. hear you say that has got to be one of the biggest compliments you could receive. Oh, yes. Okay. I, what, I somebody was slamming her in one time. That's how I met That's Carolyn. how we met. <laughs> uh, thanks, but because somebody was saying something bad about... Well, about the walk-in soul. They yeah, didn't the believe there could soul. be such a thing. And I'm a, I, I'm a computer cater. From the people who, from the media, I don't like the word media. I'm a communicator from the people Chill, from the yeah. other side. And uh, so when they said that, that really pushed my buttons to no end, you know, because the yeah. people, and I, I love these born again Christians who think that, yeah. oh, you know, and all that. And you know what? They have a right to their own beliefs, you know. But you have yeah. a long, you're going to be around 115. I'm looking at wow. a long, yeah, I really am looking at a long life jeopardy for you. Wow, fabulous. And when you Are do, you talking to me or Carolyn? You. Oh, okay. You know. I'm willing. I'm okay. ready. I'm uh, open. And when you <laughs> do cross, know. it's going to be in your sleep, very natural, in your home ground. Oh, thank you. Uh, I don't see any dementia. Okay, but I do you see don't you. Dementia? No, nope, dementia. <laughs> and the one thing I don't, I, one thing about you is that if you get ill, you know how to heal yourself very quickly. Oh, yeah. I well, there's a few things I'd like to heal. I'm stumbling over, but I figure there's probably <clears throat> some lesson or gift. Uh, well, we have a doctor right here. <laughs> we have a doctor right here in a little while. She'll be giving her, her website, right? Mm -hmm. And all that, too. And one thing I'm also looking at you, are you in a relationship right now? No, I'm not. Well, yep. you got one coming, honey. Uh oh. Uh, oh boy. Okay, I hope it's a good one this time. Oh, and, oh, honey, welcome to the club. <laughs> you know, I've been there yeah. several times. You know, everybody has. I thought, you know, but the the one thing I yep. see, you're going to meet a person whom you were married to in your past life. <gasps> oh. That's cool, Maureen. Well. People don't wow. always believe that, but I'm a firm believer that we marry people or we are soulmates to, to people that are oh, yeah. like too, you know. I am too. And I, oh, yeah. lady, pay more attention to your driving. My driving? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. You um, got to watch out for both sides. Okay. 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 And guess Good what? Stop, stop sides really means stop. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of put the envelope on some. <laughs> okay, duly noted. Yeah. Do you have children? I have a 14 year old son, yes. Oh, what a. He's got a gift of spirituality that's incredible. He does. Okay. Yes. All of my friends have recognized that in him. By the time yes. he's 18 or 19, if he wants to. He could be doing what I do right now. He could be on stage actually doing what I do right now. Well, you know, that's, that's interesting. He, um, he, his, his baby is mechanical engineering. He likes to play with engines and motors. And yeah. he's, um, so that's his focus. I'm, I wonder, maybe he'll be a teacher of that or something else. He could, one, one thing about it, you gave, you gave him good moral values. And you've always been there for him, no matter what. Yes. But do yes. not. But this yes. is important now. Do not allow him to control you. Oh, sometimes he's gotten away with that. Okay, I'm gonna have to draw the line a little stronger. Oh, she's gonna be you. a cougar. <laughs> she really is. <laughs> the person that she's gonna be is like five to seven years younger than her. Ooh. You know, I've said it. it I pro okay. That, that I'm just gonna leave it at that. Uh, <laughs> but financially, too much gonna, information. <laughs> <laughs> but, fun <laughs> but financially, you're gonna do okay. Thank you. Okay, I don't Thank see you. you. I honestly don't see you losing anything. The only thing I really see is a lot more financial 
uh, being for you. But you got to turn it over to your spirit and stop worrying. Stop making a molehill into a mountain. Okay. Okay. You, did, your mother pass, you. yeah, did your mother pass? Yes, both parents and my eldest brother. Okay, yeah. may I give you They're a message? For, okay, that's, that's where you were into Toledo. May I give you a message from your mother? Yes, please. She told me to tell you that she has everything under control concerning his son. And she also oh. told me that she's very, very proud of you. Even though you, even though you might have been a little troublesome at times, were you, I was. Were you kind of rebellious at one time? Yes, I was. Okay. They and, sent me to Catholic boarding school. Oh, that is a sorry <laughs> thing. But the one thing about yeah, this is my mom means so much. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh. But uh, I also tell you, she is very proud that you're actually in the school. Or the, or the campus that you're in because she's also going to support your teacher as well, okay? Oh, nice. And you have a lot, and your dad, he doesn't understand what you're doing or what you have done, but you're still his baby girl. Oh, I always wondered, I, want, I always wanted to make him proud of me. Oh, he is, he's <laughs> all, okay, he always has been very, very proud of you. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> He's always been very <laughs> proud of you. Did Did he have a ring that he was that he uh, like a wedding ring or a diamond ring that he wore? No, my my brother's got most of his things, but what I do have is his rosary from the Catholic Church. Okay, do you have it up? Over, do you have it hanging up over your bed? That sounds nice. Oh my God! I, it's, it's just hanging on my wall. Good. Yeah. He said that he wants you to bless it, but there's something about he wore a wedding ring or something that he wore that somebody at the funeral home, should we say, borrowed it? Mm. Some, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. A ring that he wore or what? And when, he, he, when, and there was a ring on his finger that when he went close to the casket and he would take it to the funeral home and somehow the ring became among the missing. Oh. Well, I, um... I don't know about that. Um, I, I, although I know my brothers were very protective, they may have removed everything. My brothers they forgot me that ring. Oh, boy. What I think, what's that? They forgot that one ring because they thought because it was a one ring, so that they thought they would keep it and you know in memory of him. And your mother and dad, they were very close, weren't they? Uh, well, when they were younger, their their marriage wasn't the best. In later years, but they couldn't but get along I, without each other. We all know that they, they truly did love each other. Oh, yeah, absolutely! They their own. They're drinking a cup of coffee, actually. <laughs> they were. They're, they're drinking coffee. Did your mother wear glasses? She did. They both did. Okay. Yeah. She wasn't very tall. No, no average size. But she had a tall man's voice when she got upset. Oh, yes, yes. When she yes. spoke, you people listened. Oh, yes, we did. All yes. your dad had to say, oh, I'm going to tell your mother. Well, it was kind of the other way around. Oh, okay, I'm going to tell your father, yeah. and that's yeah. where the real, and oh, that's my when, God, yeah. came in. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and yeah. it didn't hurt. you got spanked and you survived, right? I survived, and, you know, there's a lot of things that, you know, uh, I could get into, but well, when I look back, that's a thing I'm not going to talk about on TV. Did yeah, such a good job. Yeah, yeah. but look I at who you are today. Both of them. Maureen. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maureen, the, her, the, you are on the right path spiritually. That's confirmation. That's so good to hear. I've been a little wavering lately. Right. No, no, no. Don't Thank do that. You. If you, you you have your best friend here, Carolyn, she will guide you through. Or if you need to, go on Facebook. Um, I'm Norman Moody on Facebook. You can uh, Facebook me. I'm not trying to take your business away. No, you know, no, no. Go but you heavens. can Facebook me it's and all we can talk. Family. You know, the one thing about the spiritual world, we can all intertwine together, you know. and yeah. You, you're uh, one thing about you is that, like I said, that you're going to be around for a very long time. 
You're going to be teaching others, okay? And your mother said she loved you. i got to let you go, hon. This is a big kiss from your mom, okay? Oh, thank you, Norm. Bless you. Namaste. Okay, bye-bye now. Okay, Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, there you go. There you go. What a beautiful lady. Oh, great oh, energy. She's, yeah. I've never heard any, and this is true, I've never heard anybody compliment anybody this way before. Oh. So take it as a lesson. Because it's a student, and I have a feeling if she didn't like what you were teaching, she would not be afraid to call and say that, oh, no, too. no, she wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> That's what I love about so, her. <laughs> One of the many isn't things. Isn't it true? Isn't it wonderful? Yeah. You know, I always try to be very humble. I always try. So I've had, a, I used to have a big ego. Yeah. Believe me when I say it went big. And I had to look in the mirror one day that said to me, who the hell do you think you are? Right. You too? Yeah. Oh. And I, and I said, well, I have my own TV show. I wouldn't even sit and associate with readers at the events. I would always sit by oh. myself. Oh. And how lonely was that? It was. It was mm. really lonely, you know, until I got a wake-up call. We all bring something. Okay. Now, that was the book that she was talking about. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. You want to tell them more, a little bit more about that? Sure. It's um, a, non, a Life by a Crest. It's nonfiction, obviously. <laughs> it's about a walk-in soul. It's about a gentleman who died. 1995, um, and asked to switch souls with the vessel of a person that was here. And uh, the book is about the contracts, how it was written. It's actually my love story. This man I was in love with in 95 died. I got married. It was unhappy. And he was on the other side watching all of it, saying, this isn't right. This isn't what she signed up for. She's not happy. Can I go back? So he asked permission of the soul in that body to switch. And... The soul of my husband okay. at that point. Oh, you want to do it again? Yeah. Norm. <laughs> Norm's Community Corner. Do you have a question? Hello. Hi, how are you? I am just fine. How are you? Good. I, uh, uh, Norm, I pop it to a friend of yours. I'm sorry? I pop it to a friend of yours. Oh. Okay. Yeah, his name is Al. He does the weather. Oh, my friend Al. Oh, I love the guy. Yeah. How are you, yeah, sir? He's doing great. Uh, I think he told me he's working at Macy's. Right. He's going to be calling us in a little while. I know. For another hour. Yeah. 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 I thought I said that's a hotel. Uh, uh, oh. Okay. Yeah. That's, yeah, because he's just at the hotel. Yeah. He's doing really good at his job. It makes you really happy there. Right. Oh, yeah. I, when I t- we go out to breakfast a lot, Al and I do. Uh, yeah, he mentioned that. Yeah, he's one of my best friends, actually. You know? I know he is. I know yeah. he is. Yeah. I miss him when he was on a TV with you. Yeah, but you know what? He's much happier now than he was before. You know? I he know, he doesn't have all that stress. He's, he's always, I think he's been the best one to do the weather. He knows the weather. Oh, he sure does, and I, I always look forward to it when he calls us around 5.15, he's going to be calling in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? I know, I'll be watching. Anyway, yeah. I expect that you know, I'm going to be that real nice uh, gentleman. Yes, he is, you know. Hey, uh, you'll have to hey, join us. You, thank you, too. You, too. Have a great day. Thank you. Yep. Bye, now. Bye-bye, now. <laughs> I have a lady that calls in and sings to me. Ah. He goes, Norman, ooh, Norman. <laughs> and, and this is what my show, you can see what the energy is now, right? Yeah. You can see what the show is really great, okay? And your book is, I love the name of the book. And what you wrote about, I got to tell you, folks, what she has wrote about is non It is a true story. And mm-hmm. otherwise, the spirit would not allow her to write it. Oh, much of it was channeled. It, yeah. I call myself a reluctant author because I, it's really yeah. vulnerable. Because I like I said, the channel. And it's, uh, it was a lot of it was yeah. channeled. Yeah. And the, uh, the thing that I do know about that is, uh, that, well, that was a nice call. But the thing I know about it, if you had to wrote that, try to do it on your own, it would have never happened. Yeah. And the fact that it was, it was the way it was written. Right. It's not, yeah. it was all, it happened, so it was history. Guess what, folks? I'm gonna, she doesn't know it, but I'm going to get a free one with her autograph. Oh, yeah, of it. course. Everybody <laughs> is. <laughs> I got three for my three new friends. <laughs> all right. You know, you know what? Are we all friends or related one way or the other? Oh, of course. And it doesn't yes, matter absolutely. what color you are. It doesn't matter. I mean, or if you, someday when these people get, become as gorgeous as I am, you there know, go. then Lori will say It's going to take you know, a long time. Guess, you know, <laughs> but Lori, you know, I always tell Lori, she'll, yep, yeah, you know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but 
How long did it take you to write that book? Two months. Oh, that was quick. Twelve weeks of editing, because yeah. <laughs> it was, it was all, yeah. I was I, I'm starting to write my own book now. So yeah. I may call you to have help or whatever. Oh yeah, it was great because process. Because I was always afraid because of call, being called my life in the spirit in a spiritual journey, and I was always afraid if I ended the book that I would die. Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, getting it, through that barrier. Yeah. It hit Isn't number one on the first the day, though, so I was happy like with that. that. <laughs> You're writing a book, too, by the way. Don't be shy. I, gotta show, I love this Did lady. you know that? <laughs> Did you know you were writing one? Well, I mean, that's what I was hoping to do. I have, like, journals since I was 12. Yeah, okay. And I just figured it would be kind of similar to what you're Bang. saying. Yeah. <laughs> and one thing I will tell you is, and Lori will tell you that I don't like hearing the word hope. Hope? Yeah. 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 There is no when hope. You, when you use the word hope, the angel isn't going to hope with you. Well, it doesn't. Stop. I let her hold that. <laughs> there. Okay. But the one thing is when you hope, uh, the angel will hope with you. Yeah, but just okay. do. Yeah. I'm trying to think of her name, Wildfire, um, from Nashua. Amethyst? Amethyst. Amethyst. You know her? I've, yeah, oh, I've met a, her a couple times. Oh, she's an amazing lady. I love her dearly, you know. And my friend Nick Delacar and I were talking, we said, do we have angels with us? He said, yeah, they'll wait for you to ask questions. Because they'll wait with you as long as you wait with them. Like, see, you got, you really got to bump in the head, so to speak, to write that book, didn't yeah. you? Oh, yeah. And you said it got to number one? First day. Wow. wow. Yeah. See how that spirit works? Um, well, ex ex that's got nothing to do with me. It is absolutely spirit said, okay. Actually, People need it to does understand have what a walk in, in is. With you. Uh, I don't know. I, I think that was spirit. No, no, no. <laughs> the spirit pushed your buttocks to get you yeah. to write that book, okay? Yeah. yeah. And it does have a lot to do with you because you could have procrastinated and said, oh, I don't want to do this. I'm just oh, down here no. doing whatever they tell me to do. You're writing another, <laughs> right, you're writing another book. Yeah. And it's going to have questions and answers in the back. Oh, okay. You got to write it, but you can't have the answers in the book only for you because you're going to be the teacher. Mm. You're writing a like a college professor type book type thing. It's know? a sequel to this much deeper. Right. You know. Okay, Paul. No. No, Dr. No. Jody. Dr. Jody. There you go. Good job. Dr. Jody. See why I, I have know her. Here? She's yeah. a friend of mine. You know Paul what's her? Oh, Dr. Do Jody? Dr. Jody. Yeah, okay. Dr. Jody, how did you get into this? I got into this because I um, have had some issues in the past that the doctors just wouldn't really take care of. They just kept pushing the... the um, the pills and the, the no reasons for they didn't they couldn't find out why or what was wrong with me so I got into this to help myself mostly and once I started to help myself um, I decided that I could use my knowledge to help other people so I, I kept going to school until I got my doctorate and oh you're not done school honey no oh, I, I still have plenty to learn yeah 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 I have a my son had they say he has asthma mm-hmm what do you say? Oh, we don't, just, we, we we don't, don't need to go know. there. We don't need to know. It wasn't good. No. Because <laughs> he wasn't flying either. Yeah. And he's not in England either. It's one of those I was calls. wondering how that. Sorry. You know. Yeah. Because I right now it's about 3 a.m. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's my cameraman, Paul. Paul, we got some lovely ladies here. Is their microphones okay? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. as long as they uh, stay where they're at, everything's good. Yeah, okay. And so my, my question was, my son, and all they're doing is putting on steroids. It's steroids. It's, his feet are swollen. His legs are swollen. Is there an answer when a natural? A natural way for that? Yeah. The reason for asthma in most cases is a lymphatic problem. It's, it's a stagnation of the lymphatic system. Once you drain the lymphatic system, he'd be able to breathe better, and be able to process, you know, more of a breath and, and uh, be more healthier. Yeah, okay. Well, well, is there medication or anything natural? There are herbs and stuff that will, that will take care of that between you know, a little bit of nutritional changes and some herbal formulas, herbal oh, therapy. Beautiful. That's great. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. I'll have to text you and get the. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Because I, I don't want to lose my son at 45. No. Because he's got his legs are swollen and, you know, stuff. Mm -hmm. All they want to do, I don't understand why doctors will give you all this stupid medication that's going to make your body swell. Mm -hmm. 
you know, and like that too, and he's afraid of dying and then constantly reassuring him, you know. And, uh, but your body, your body swells and all that, and he has a hard time going to work, he has a hard time breathing and all of that stuff. So what good is a pharmaceutical? That's the body's reaction to the pharmaceuticals. It blows up and it, it causes illness. Yeah. Okay, so I, I'm gonna be texting you with mm -hmm. you okay. You know. Absolutely. And your location is? I am in Dracut, um, off of Lakeview Ave. Um, I am there Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 9 to 6. Okay, and you have a phone number? 978-476-1184. And, and your website? Nature'sWayHolisticHealth.com. Okay. And I forgot to get your phone number. People. There's no phone number needed. Everything is online. <laughs> oh, everything is online. The website is? Um, HolisticCampus.com. Okay. Yeah. I'll be asking you just throughout because I have a lot of people. No, it's great. That too. It's great. Yeah. And if they want to get a hold of you, 978 835 2935. You live in Drake it too? Mm. <laughs> I this is a story. This is a story. <laughs> yeah, nah, that's uh, right. You know, I'm not going to get it. So it. my office is in Merrimack. New Hampshire? Yeah, that's where my office is. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Um, one of the things that I look at that all of you girls that, that there's so much healing that you're, you're healing yourselves as well as you're healing other people. Isn't that the fun part? You know, and I, I'm just going to call not, not, that four psychics, I'm not, you know, good old psychic, but, and four, five doctors told this one lady that she could never have children. Mm. Okay, I call I don't believe them. I, I'll never tell anybody, and I'm sure you won't, or you won't, or you won't. I'll never tell you I'm 100% accurate. Maybe 110. Free will kicks in. You can't. You can't be. Mm -hmm. People have free will. Right. You know. And she called me a week ago and said, "I'm pregnant." Mm -hmm. Is it better? Well, that is what I like. The confirmation, and I had mm -hmm. another one. The, then uh, the, the saddest part, what I know, that when people are going to be crossing over, like getting, yeah. you know, I hate it when I have children and they know, and then people want to know how much long, and then child is going to, and I try to hesitate uh, like that because you don't want to, do it. you know what, when the spirit, you do what the spirit tells you, or you're in trouble. Yeah. I can remember the first psychic party I did. This little little Irish lady. Beautiful, beautiful, white hair, good friend of mine comes in, she says, how much longer do I have to live? I'm going, oh no, mm. you know. So I went and I got her daughter. Her daughter come in and she sat down and she said, you better answer her because you won't leave. <laughs> you know, and I said, you're not going to make it till Christmas. Yeah. And, 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 and prepared her. Mm. And I think that's what it's for. That, I think that's what we do. You know, we're not miracle workers. You're not a miracle worker. You're a healer. You're a tool to help them heal themselves. Does mm -hmm. that make sense that's, to you? That's the way I think. I, I hate it when I hear, uh, or I dislike that, uh, when I hear people say, I am a healer. No, we're a tool to help people help Correct. themselves. And like when you're, I love, I'm already visualizing your campus. <laughs> I really am, because you're going to have a big campus. A physical campus. A physical campus. Wow. And it's not too far from where you live. Really? You already have your eye on some property. I don't. I've thought, actually, I've thought about it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't think I could have my eye on it yet. <laughs> and I will tell you, is it an area that's not the best looking area in the world? It's okay. It's kind of a slummy area. No. The, it was on the water. No. That part well, of the we're building. thinking of two different areas. Okay, <laughs> because it, you may have two, two two different areas. But the one you're going to start out, there's a building not too, not too far from the slummy area where, you know, remember this, the spirit walked in the lowly of lowlies. Mm -hmm. That's what we have mm -hmm. to do to build ourselves up. Okay. I actually see you, and there are going to be five different buildings that you're going to be teaching out of. Oh, wow. You ready for that? Sure, bring it on. <laughs> Confidence, yeah. confidence. Yeah. You ready to work with her as a teacher? Where? Whenever well, she I don't has know, but going. it's near a slummy area, I understand. <laughs> I'll be there. I'm sorry, honey. Okay. You don't have to believe me, yeah. but Spirit will I'd show be, you. I'd be happy to work with her, yeah. Carolyn. We'll and you're also, have have an, you're also opening up another office. I am. You're going to be expanding. Because pe don't you find that people oh, want... Sorry, you it open. Yeah, you don't you find that people want more and more... Uh, holistic there, cures and the pharmaceutical cures. There are more and more interest in the, in the yeah, holistic yeah, field yeah. as far as... Yeah, I think people are getting tired of people like what you see with my son, you know, getting all this you know, medication. I actually took myself off the high blood pressure pills. Mm -hmm. 
you know. And uh, when I, I, the last time I went to the doctor, I'm going to tell you, this lady, she put the thing on my finger, and I go, what are you doing? She said, I'm putting this on. And she says, uh, I said, do you know how to put it on? She said, are you questioning my ability? I go, yeah. And it hung like this, like almost, not even uh, tightly like it should be. And they told me my heart rate was 31. Because it was on wrong? Huh? It was on wrong. Yeah. I would think so. Were you yeah. like vertical I said, legs? I mean, and, and I'm looking at him. I said, then I should be in the hospital. <laughs> oh, no. And then they made an appointment for it. They wouldn't have my heart checked. And I was super fine. Never be afraid. I remember I asked you about your credentials. Mm -hmm. And I asked you, never be afraid to ask any doctor what their credentials are. Or anybody that's working on your body, because you would ask a garage person, right? Right. You know, and you'd ask, you know, never be afraid to w ask people what their qualifications are. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and I, if they want to ask me, I'm more than talented. I have no education as far as be being a reader goes. I have no formal, I, I never went to school for it. Anything that I do is spirit led. I've done it since I was a child. And, uh, People follow, it's like people follow so much in the teachings of other t people that they forget to let themselves, you know, run on, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think you're the same way. You, you learned a lot when you were in college, right? I did, the but, basic, but then you had to I do didn't it feel like I really learned anything, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah. I did um, get trained in hypnosis afterwards and, and then went on my own path with lots of other things. But I do find that the, the information, the answers are within me. And when I look too much to someone else, it's, it's not there. It's yeah. not as accurate as if, yeah. if I just yeah. rely on myself. <laughs> are you, Carolyn, are you yourself. ready to be read? Am I ready to be read? Yeah. I'm ready to be read. Okay, I'm going to have you two swap places for a second. Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, <laughs> Lori spoiled me. When I got done reading, I put the guys over there. She put them all in the uniform and the inner like that. Oh. I don't like them any other way. Oh, okay. I'm going to shuffle these for me. Oop. You're a lady who, when you decide you're going to do something, you go all the way when there's no holding you back, okay? But you procrastinate a lot to make sure that you're going to make the right decision. I want to do the right thing. Right. You're, you're not as spontaneous as you should be more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I also will tell you that there's a lot more success coming to you, okay? Um, <laughs> when they ask you what your degree is, you say spirit degree. Yeah. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay, you're a very intelligent lady, but you always held yourself back too much. Mm -hmm. You've been in two marriages. Uh, no, one marriage, but a walk-in. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I we won't have do an that. Okay. I, don't know. <laughs> I want you to take out five cards, but don't look at them. I think you can count to five. <laughs> I'm, you're a great sense of humor, by the way. One of the things I'm also she needs to try to keep the mic in front of her while she's doing Oh yeah, doing yeah, this. yeah. Okay. The best camera man going. Yes, okay. I appreciate it. We're, we're going to be offering a trivia, uh, Paul. The question is, uh, Proud Mary. Who was the the singer of Proud Mary? What was the name of the band and the year? Didn't a lot of people do it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The original, right? Yep. Yeah. The original? Yeah. We got a little. Oh, you do love people. Oh, God, yes. You <laughs> really do. It shows me right here. But you forget to, to love yourself. Yeah. Okay? You've got to look in the mirror and say, every day, I am a winner. And I mean naked. Yeah. It sounds like, I know it sounds like a dirty old man. No, but, but it not, makes but sense. It's true because, because when you look at you, you, you breathe, and you're not going to be the same way. Mm -hmm. you got to say, you know what, I can do this. I also will tell you that you're going to be moving to an area or a better location of a school. Like I said, it could be a slum area or a school. But I also see something about Arizona. Oh. Okay. Where well, you're going to be really, because you're going to be working with a lot of Indian medicine people. Oh, beautiful. Okay. And you're going to be teaching a lot more. People are becoming more and more open to what you have. Well, your life has never been easy for you, has it? Never. Oh, geez, no. <laughs> but would you want it in the other way? No, because I wouldn't no, have had the dark. Had now I have the light. You yeah. have to have the right. And you do, you know. You're in a relationship now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Boy, does he love you. That's my walk-in. Yeah. And folks, what I'm telling you now, and have we met each other before? No. Okay. No. Have you ever met your, your husband? No. Okay. 
one thing I also will tell you, he he uh, allows you to control the house. Mm-hmm. You just I said allow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but he also knows you're always going to do the right thing. Oh. Okay. And I also will tell you that your mother is very proud of you. Mm. Okay. You've been on many, many journeys spiritually. Yes. I am looking at least 25 journeys on this earth, okay, right now. Yeah. Okay. You're an old soul. Actually, you used to know Jesus Christ very well. Okay. He also brought you from among the dead and the, you know, from among the dead to the living. Oh. Okay. I wish there was a way I could prove all this stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> but he did. He brought you. You actually died in his present. He brought you back to life. Oh, beautiful. I wish, wow. You know. You, you, I you, want to do that past life. Uh, I'm sorry? I want to do that past yeah. life. You also were also, you were also a very poor, poor lady then. Okay. Everything you have, you've, even to this day, everything you have, you are very, uh, you had, you've had to work very hard for. Yes. Okay. There's some things I'm not going to ask you online because they're too personal, okay? I won't text you on that. Were you shy in school? Yes, I was the nerd. I was the kid that yeah. got bullied. Welcome to the club. <laughs> you were yeah. too, right? We all were. Isn't it amazing how we're in school like that and how we can you got more, you know, and the ones that used to pick on us and bully us, and they're going nowhere. No, but, and they're not evolved at all. I'm also, <laughs> you're actually going to be going on another TV show besides my own, a bigger one, and you're also going to be t- uh, pushing your book. Yeah. And you're going to be able to talk about your college campus. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nothing but good things coming for you. I'm not going to tell you they're going to be overnight. Financially, you got to be a little more wiser at how you spend your money. Okay. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. You know what speed limits are? Yeah, you sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be I like to, to make my own. <laughs> yeah, your, your beautiful smile is not going to be able to talk you getting out of a ticket. So it has before. Avoid, <laughs> well, it won't anymore. So no more, you okay. can't do that. Okay? <laughs> I also will tell you, is this gentleman your age or a little younger? The, My husband. Okay. Yeah, Your husband, yeah. yeah. Oh, you want to... He's a little older. Norm's Norm's Community Corner. What's your question? Hello. Hello. Hi there. It's not our friend from England again. How are you? I am just fine. How are you? I'm doing good, Norm. Good. What's happening, Chuck? Now the same stuff, different day. You know how it is. Oh yeah, but it can get better if you want it to. Oh, it definitely will get better. There's no doubt about that. Okay. Uh, so what's happening uh, with you? Uh, nothing much. Um, actually, uh, waiting to come back on your show in May. All right. Uh, we'll look forward to uh, it. I love this. Yeah. Oh, um, I missed you. I missed the last one when when uh, t- I, I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to Lori. Yeah. But I hope she's doing well. She really is. She's you know. New co-host. Yeah, well, I don't have a permanent one yet. I got a hot looking one though today. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of, I might even go straight. Would well, that would be a different? <laughs> but uh, I got a I got a great bunch of people on sh- the show today. Yeah, great bunch of people. I'm enjoying it. I'm watching it on the computer. All right. Oh, it's actually online. Good, good. One of the things I'm looking at, I am really actually looking forward to you coming. When's the date you're coming on? I think it was the third Wednesday of uh, May. That's what I thought. And, uh, yeah. Come up there with. Uh, I try to get up there with Bobby again. Oh and yeah. Maybe, okay. Maybe we can both do some flute tunes. Uh, oh, I go on TV. I can't say that. <laughs> no jokes. <don't. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but well, no. You said to remind you that you're gonna play the flute, but I'm not gonna go there. Okay. Yeah. No. We'll be nice here today. You know. But, yeah, I will actually look forward to it because Lori is actually on, her, on, on another adventure, and I think, and we both knew it was time for her to go her own path, you know. We both knew that was going to happen, you know. Well, Spirit will always let you know when it's time to do what you're going to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it, you know. Okay, okay well, I'm, I'm going to let you go so you can watch me do this reading. How's that? Again? Okay, I'm going to be doing. I'm doing a reading on this lady. So, if you want to listen to what we're doing, that'll be cool. Oh, I called in to try to answer your your. your oh, okay. Question. Oh, okay. Go ahead. What is it? Okay. What is it? Okay. Who is it? 
I believe it was originally done by Creedence Clearwater Revival, and I believe it was Correct. done around 1969 or 70. And who was the lead singer? John Fogarty. All right, you got it all. Call me back as I get these two readings done here, and I'll give you a 10 minute reading. Have a nice day. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, bye bye. You sound that? No. <laughs> That's right, folks. The question's been answered. Okay. Did okay. you say it was going to be a female? I thought at one point you said a female. What? I thought you had said a female. I thought you said. What year did he say? 1969. That's, That's correct. Yeah. He, he got it absolutely right. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Did yeah. Tina Turner say it? That's right. He was on before. I remember now. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. yeah. He did it all. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You had the relationship that you're in is going to be forever and ever. <laughs> okay. How long have you been, you been married this time? Um, he's been back for seven years. Okay. But you got another 50 years on this earth. In a past life, it was like 25. It was yeah, it cheap. was, exactly. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. too. And no, folks, I haven't read her book, have I? No, I don't no. think so. <laughs> no. Have I? No. <laughs> he also has been through hell and back, too, hasn't he? Yeah. His journey has not been easy, but, it, but he's very strong about it. He's very animated about it. Okay? Yes, yes. One of them, I'm also looking at you, too. You work very well together, mm -hmm. but you've got to listen to him once in a while. Yeah, I'm learning that. Yeah. If yes. you don't, you're going to hurt his feelings. Mm -hmm. He's very sensitive. And that makes very good point. Yes. You have a dog. Yeah, I got two. Boy, do they love you. <laughs> but they also love your husband, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let him, so share them. Let him, let the dogs love whoever they want. Oh, yeah. Okay. They don't like to call her. No. You need to get a new one. Okay. okay. You want one? You have a female dog? Two males. Two males. One, 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 one's gay. Seriously. Oh, I can see that. You need to get him a flashy collar. Okay. okay. A little pink diamondy one. I'll right. Do that. Yes. Right. Okay. And they don't like what you're feeding them. Really? Because I make their food from okay. scratch. They you have to add a little something different okay. to it. Okay. Because okay. okay. it's the same thing over and over, right? Yeah, yeah kind of. They want a little lamb. Lamb. Okay. We'll see about that. They're your <laughs> children, right? Um, no, my boys are my children. They're okay, your dogs are your, still your children. They're my okay. babies. <laughs> your boys are uh, very. How old are they? Okay, uh, 29, 24, and fourteen. Oh, you have some pretty successful children there. <sighs> you did a great job as a mom. They're cool. They're cool kids. Yeah, okay, you really did. Were you a single parent? No. Oh, good. Okay. But he traveled a lot, so yeah, maybe okay. sort of. <laughs> but you, but you still, but you let your husband think he controls the house, but you really do. Yes, I do. Okay. Who does a house cleaning? I have a house cleaner. All right. Who does a, you don't have a duster person. What do you mean a duster person? You got person? some cobwebs up in your corner. Of your I room. noticed that last night. Thank you very much. <laughs> Way up. <laughs> why, are you pay, why are you paying for a keeper if he's not dusting? Yeah, exactly. And you know, your mother also told me to tell you to wash your windows. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about that yesterday. Okay, Mom. <laughs> she said you got to let more light in. Okay. okay. Yeah. You have a brother. Yes. Yeah, he's one we used to. I'm concerned about your brother um, and his health. Mm. Okay. Is he older than you? Mm-hmm. Ten okay. years. He's like in his late sixties, early seventies. Mm -hmm. Okay. He had trouble walking. I don't. He's. Did not communicate with. He won't talk to me. <laughs> That's because he doesn't understand what you're doing. Yes, I know. And he's a little jealous of your success. Oh, okay. Isn't that sad? That was awful. He is going to send out the olive branch to you. I'm going to ask oh, you good. to accept it, okay? Because he knows his health is really deteriorating. Oh. And I thought, talk to you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I feel like he has like COPD or something breathing oh, inside. He also has a lot of anger issues inside of him. Yes. Okay. But I reach out to him. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. I, and I just wrote to him, too. Good. Good, All you're right. good. You did the right thing. Yeah. Okay. Speed, you gotta. Oh I'm gonna. I'm gonna laugh if you get it. I, 
I get a ticket. How about we could laugh if she gets a speeding ticket, yeah. right? Because we uh, my two-hour drive home, I'm gonna. <laughs> I don't want her to get a speeding ticket. <laughs> well, we would, Jim. <laughs> all right, all right. Cruise control, cruise control. One of the things I'm also so I, I am concerned about your credit card. I'm concerned somebody breaking into your bank account and wow. trying to take some money out of your account. Okay. And you're pretty frugal at times. At times. Okay. My Scottish blood. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I also will tell you that all you've got to let go of yesterday. Yeah. I know it's not easy because it took easy. me 20 years or longer. I held a uh, grudge against my dad for no reason. Yeah. But once you get rid of that anger, you've got a lot more success coming. Like I said before, I've seen three different buildings in three different spots. So you're going to be doing an awful lot of traveling. Yay. Okay. And I, I also will tell you this that friend Maureen, was that her name? Yeah. She's going to be teaching for you out in the Canadian area. You're going to have a lot of teachers. Wow. That's beautiful. It's going to take you about 10 years. Okay. But you're going to make it. Okay? Beautiful. All right. And you're on a road to success. Thank you. Okay. Thank, Thank you very you. much. <laughs> Thanks, sir. And uh, you're next. And then we'll do you, all right? Sure. <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way, folks. <laughs> Thank you for that, Norm. Yep. Paul, you got another question we can ask him? I do not. Can you find one? I could try. All right. He's the best cameraman. If you guys want to leave stop it. I love his voice. I yeah. love his voice. Yeah. Well, thank you. You catch me in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, he also does a history of Manchester. I don't know what I'm doing. How about one of those instead? Yeah. I could do that really quick for you. Am I supposed to put these in order? Yes. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, Paul? I said, how about one of those instead? I could get a video together for you. Okay. How about that? Uh, we'll leave 15 minutes or 10 minutes early and Paul will play a history of Manchester. Are you, are you okay with that? Okay. That he still doesn't. gives you another hour on the air. Yeah. And he that when he does, he closes us out like at 10 minutes off and stuff. So, And people love it. we got to oh, make the people happy, right? Yeah. One of the things I'm looking with you too, uh, Dr. Don't tell me, Jody. Jody, there we That's go. It. That you had to go through a lot of sickness to be where you are today, okay? Perfect. You had a lot of things that doctors couldn't even imagine. And a lot of them that were not real as far as the doctors were concerned, but they were real because the Spirit put them there for you, okay? Mm -hmm. Your mother didn't almost believe you a lot of times, did she? Mm -mm. Your dad didn't either. Nobody believes in you. But you know. know what? That made you who you are today. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. And that And that'll mean that's who you are because you were determined. Were you in a rebel in the family? Sort of, yes. Yeah. You would never, you know, you kind of like an outsider. I don't mean that in correct. a bad no, way, okay? Actually, that's because correct. you were always, it's interesting how spiritual people are always the weird people of the family. The black sheep, the you black sheep, yeah. You agree with that, right? You know? <laughs> and, but it made you who you are today. Mm -hmm. Your husband loves you very much. Start downing it. Yes, he, no, I, I, I know he does. <laughs> and you a cougar? Yes. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'm, I'm 14 years older than mine. <laughs> you know. I but, got five uh, years on him. Uh huh. But he listens. He doesn't always understand you. Because when you go bonkers, you can really go bonkers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then he spot, he gets right out of the way, doesn't he? By the way, that book that you write, we're going to be talking about that afterward. But the bo book that you write is just the beginning of your writing. Mm -hmm. You like to write? I do. I don't always have the time for it, but yes, I do. You're gonna have. You know, oh, all right. I'll tell her that. <laughs> Your spirit says I, you will make time, mm -hmm. even if it's four o'clock in the morning, and you know that feeling, right? Yeah. We always yeah. have women over there in the spirit, ladies over in the corner here that are always watching us. Mm -hmm. And this one lady, when these people came from surge, they came on, and this one lady actually talked to this other, that spiritual lady actually talked to this one lady, and she had it said, "Okay, I'm gonna have you take out five cards." One of the things I see about you too is that be be prepared. There you go. Be prepared to do some more traveling. You like to travel? I know as you get. As long as it's not in the air, yes. Oh, it's going to be in the air. <laughs> you can come see me for that. <laughs> Both that guy that called in that said he was from England. He was full of poop, poop, poopy. Yeah. And I hope he's listening, because he's right here in Manchester. And I have a bodyguard out there to try to harm us, too. <laughs> 
See, Paul doesn't know he's my body. I never told him that, but he won't leave my heart. <laughs> right, Paul? One other thing I've also seen about you, you do have an addictive personality. Yes. Whatever you do, you have to, you, you can become very, like if you eat chocolates, you can be a chocolate hound. Mm -hmm. Or did you smoke cigarettes at one time? Mm -hmm. you, do you still smoke? On occasion. Yeah, but you really did a lot, right, at one time. Mm -hmm. But you're getting better at it. Mm -hmm. Have her help you with the cigarette smoking. Hey, folks, I got to tell you, hypnosis does work. It worked for me for four years. I haven't had one cigarette. I got mad at one of my friends, and I went up a cigarette. Oh, my God, it's the most t horrible tasting thing. So we're going to be doing an event. Maybe we'll have you do two or three hypnosis. I'll bring some people you can do some hypnosis for, okay? Great. Okay. And that'll help it tune you even more. Okay. Good. One other thing I'm also looking with you too. Oh, you have been to hell and back, haven't you? Mm. A few times. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at you at least four different times. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you never gave up. Mm -hmm. When you were in an abusive relationship, mm -hmm. you yes. didn't fight back until towards the end, huh? Correct. Okay, but it made you who you are today. You know, um, yes, yeah, sir. I'm going to say a lot. It made you who you are today because that's the truth about it. Okay, you also may I get a little bit. You also had a miscarriage. Once, yes. Okay, and then baby's with you, whoever you know. Okay, and also would have, would have been a boy. Mm -hmm. Had that lived, they would have been in a wheelchair. Really. Okay, so the marriage, so that you was a better because at that time you could not emotionally handle what was going on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who's the male image I see that has passed? He's tall, wears glasses, got kind of a bald spot here. Not really sure. Okay. Do you have a brother that passed or a best friend? No. Okay. Could be somebody you may not have even known. Okay, because mm -hmm. that happens a lot. You agree? And a lot of times what people don't realize, well, I didn't know them. You know what? Spirit knows you. You don't have to know them. Mm -hmm. well, this, oh, okay, he's a great-grandfather of yours. Okay. He also was a person, you're following his footsteps. When the private, you know, get away from the, with the uh, natural healing path, mm -hmm. okay, you, you you follow into his footsteps. You're very. He said that he fi you finally got it together. <laughs> I also will tell you though you have three, four cavities that you need to have filled. Mm -hmm. Okay. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I try, but you can't do it. Past it. You know, that's impossible. Unfortunately, we do need doctors at times who fix a broken leg or do a dental work or whatever. Okay. You own your own house? Not well, fully the, yet, but yeah, yes, you we are bank, paying right, for. Yeah, okay. <laughs> is it an older house? Mm-hmm. Okay. It is old, isn't it? Is it like it could? Is it like early 1900s? No, it's it's it was an old campground at one point, so it's it's early. Okay. It's early, but. You have a lot of wood in the area? Mm hmm Okay. I'm very, can I, I have to be very honest, okay. You have a shed in the back? I have a reason for asking. Yeah. A I lot do. of stuff in it? Mm, yeah, there's a fair amount of stuff in I it. I see a combustion fire there. Okay. Okay. And I'm not usually wrong on the fires, okay. Uh, well, if it does happen, you know, your house is going to be singed, okay. okay. I'm not going to say your house is going to be destroyed. I'm already smelling the smoke. Mm -hmm. So when you get home, make your boyfriend or husband and just smack him in the head and make him go out. <laughs> no, folks, don't do it. <laughs> just, you know, take whatever you might have, combustible air, and let's avoid it happening. Okay. Okay. Um, I had a young lady one time. I went by her house, and I looked at it, and I saw a smoke coming out a window. Mm -hmm. And I told another friend of mine, they went, they went to the house, and I showed her, they found there were bare wires there. Okay. Mm. So that's part of the gift that I have. Don't always like it, but if I can save somebody, so then I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Boy, you don't like making decisions, do you? It's tough for me at times, yes. You are like her and like her. <laughs> you have to ponder and make sure that you don't make the mistake. Am I right? You also, one thing I do like, you got to be, well, your husband's born spontaneous. I'm sorry? Who's more sp spontaneous, you or your husband? He is. Okay. He smiled because you prolonged things. Mm -hmm. You prolonged. You know how to use a vacuum cleaner? I do. 
<laughs> I do. Whether I do it or not. <laughs> you know, you have to plug it in and turn yeah, it yeah, on, right? I do. And if a lady that told me that, and tell you to use it more often, mm. I'm not getting involved in that, and I don't like that. And she, but you live in a beautiful area, don't you? Mm -hmm. You have a lot of positive energy there. Mm -hmm. It's really in a lot of woods. Our, our, both our homes actually. We have a, a, another home okay. up in Maine. You have a, a running water, electricity in that area. Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't have to have a mouse pulling it. <laughs> not at this time. <laughs> <laughs> What, okay, this company, you're actually going to have your own storefront, okay, and you're actually going to be uh, doing a lot of uh, teaching on natural healings, mm -hmm. okay, you're, and you're going to have people that are going to question your identification and all that stuff, you know, and you know what, just make them on the wall or whatever, like with you and you, you know, you have a lot of, but you're going to be a lot more successful than the rinky dinks around them. And I'll use that, and I, what are they, they going to assume? A lot of the people that have offices, and all of these people, like, uh, they all, oh, they're all great and all that, you know, they can all do this and they can all do that. And the, you know what? They all crash. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have a great friend, Amy Major. Do you know her? Hmm. Okay. She's a great friend of mine. Actually, her, her uh, student was, gonna, was supposed to be my co host today. And her car, her had a problem. So see, there was a spirit in doing that for some reason, you know. Mm. And I love Amy. She's a sweetheart. We're going to be doing a blessing. One of the things I'm also going to tell you is, you have to make a decision to help somebody cross over. Okay. And it's someone that you're very close to, not your husband. Okay. Is your dad still around? My father is still around. Okay. We're not close, but yeah, he's still around. You're not close? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you forgive him? I have been trying to for years. One, I am going to uh, suggest to you, because I can understand where you're coming from, and it took me 30 years. Everything that I had, I blamed my dad for. So I said, okay, I have to accept responsibility as well, because he's actually winning mm -hmm. by you not doing that, okay? Mm -hmm. So I would tell you to write a letter to him when you give it to him or not, that's up to you. But I am a, I'm a big encourager of writing a letter and burning them with stage. Because what you're doing is you're sending out the negative energy and you're bringing back in the uh, uh, Just You have to give him spiritually permission to cross. Okay? When you go to see him or not, that's up to you. Okay? Mm -hmm. I can understand why you don't, you know, why you had that problem. I'm not going to get into that well on the air. But out of what you do that, you're going to see a lot more prosperity. You haven't even touched the iceberg of prosperity yet. Okay? God, I love doing reading. <laughs> do you? How about it's you? It's a happy thing, isn't it? It is. Well, Trust you, you know, I really do. And I used to do the dark side readings. You know what that is, right? You know, and I've seen arms come out of the out of the ground. I I went, I went to a Ouija boards. I then sit and hang in a seance. One thing I learned was you don't mix alcohol and. <laughs> Oh, geez. No. <laughs> with anything. <laughs> no. I actually walked over to hit a lady out of the chair one time in a seance. Can you imagine trying to explain that to a judge or something like that? You oh, know, yeah. you know. But now that I got sober, 21, two years, you know, and I got, you know, but I love what I do. And you do, too. I, I think do. The key is to love what you do, you know, and that way you can give out the product that you was. Wow. Seven years you've been through hell and that, huh? Seven years. That's a long time. Mm -hmm. But now you've got a lot of... Ooh, look at this. This is a spiritual card. And it's showing up for you as well. Okay, I'm getting a message from both of you, Alter, that you, you haven't even touched the iceberg of your spirituality. Does that make sense to you? Sure. Okay, does that make mm. sense to you? Okay. You know how... what well, I call it the spiritual well. You know how the well you have the water streaming? Mm -hmm. There are steps, okay, and the water continues flowing. And then you have a green vine that when you, because you're going to fall back and you're going to keep going. We're going to keep making mistakes and we're going to keep climbing. Oh, I can't get over the energy in here now. <laughs> and I keep feeling it. And as you do, you grab that green vine and you will rebuild yourself up. However, your spirit is telling that you must, M U S T, M U S T. Give up cigarette smoking all together. Okay. It didn't question that you have that. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. But you must, you know, for your health. Otherwise, the dot then, ooh, I can't. The spirit will pull you down for a while if you don't. Okay. Okay.
it will make you feel like you're having bronchial pneumonia. It'll make you feel like whatever. I'm just relating with the this here to say it. By the way, where are your glasses? My glasses are actually at home. Uh -huh. I, I don't wear them all the time. So I you just wear contacts? them to read. Okay. You better get your eyes checked again. Okay. Because I don't want you rearing somebody and hurting a child because you could not handle that. Mm -hmm. But if somebody gets a ticket, we won't say. <laughs> no, I'm much. speeding. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, one thing I know is about you. Do you have any questions? I'm going to ask you to one of you. But I also will tell you, please, just, you know, in your heart, let go of the anger issue so that you can become more successful. Your anger is what's holding you back. I just did a hypnosis session for anger too, and it went yeah. really well. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. So that's cool. I got some great people. <laughs> this is North Community. Cool. Yeah, I'll make sure What's it's right. <laughs> um, I got some great people on here. I've got great energy. We got two authors and a soon to be another author here. We have a hypnotherapist here. Boy, I do well. All these spiritual people, folks. Honestly, I haven't had it like this in a long, long time. You agree with that, Paul? I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah, see? <laughs> Paul is I'm very sitting beside myself. Out of here. <laughs> uh, right. There's two of me. Right. There you go. One of the things you have, you have your angel on this side, you have an angel on that side. Stop letting the angel on the left try to take over your life. Okay, do you understand what I mean by that? I do. Okay. Has your husband's mother passed? She has. She likes you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you kind of like, she kind of adopted you or put you under her wing for a while. Okay. Close. I want you to tell you that she is very honored that you married her son. Thank you. Okay. And she's very honored that she doesn't know how you put up with his BS. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the rest of them do either. <laughs> and she says you're a very special lady. She's going to encourage you any way she can. She may not have understood what you were doing at one time, mm -hmm. and she was very hard to hold the resistance back, okay? But she could be very outspoken when she wanted to be, okay? Oh, yes. She said, yep, yeah, and I do not have any regrets for it. She, did she enjoy her wine or whatever? Now, she got small glass. Uh, on occasion, her, I think she drank rum and coke. Yeah, because she's going to make it a toast to you, okay? Mm -hmm. She had, like, short hair? Yes. Okay, not very tall? Mm -hmm. No, maybe 5'5", five, five, and not even that tall? Maybe 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, maybe. Yeah. Had a little belly? Yes. Okay. Wore glasses, mm -hmm. and they were always down here, okay? She had hair, She always wore her hair up like this, and sometimes she wore it down in little bags, but always her hair had to be in its perfect position. Mm -hmm. Her clothing had to be an extra special she had to everything that she wore had to match okay yeah, even at home she she everything had to she was kind of like a perfectionist mm -hmm. okay and she also enjoyed cooking didn't she mm -hmm. okay you enjoy cooking i do okay she said crock pots works wonders yes they do. Yes, they do. you agree with that oh yeah i used to be a chef oh I, I had two of them <laughs> but i don't cook anymore my partner does you know i probably get safe you know <laughs> But I also will tell you that you're going to be around for a long, long time. Norm? Yeah? Could we please have the guest that's sitting closest to you? Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, I don't remember her name. Get oh. you right up on that mic. There you go. Point right to you. Both of you. There you go. Thank you so much. Yeah, and you you're too. Welcome. Pull the mic right up to you. <laughs> yeah. But the one thing I am looking at, your children? I have one, yes. How old? 25. Worried about him? Yes. Typical parent, right? Mm -hmm. But I mean, you're worried a little bit worried. He's going to be okay. I'm not going to go into it because I think it's personal. <laughs> but don't worry. He's going to find, He's going to hit rock bottom and come up to be very big. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is funny. I'm sorry. You have an ex-friend or an ex-partner or a boyfriend or whatever, a husband, <laughs> try to put a whammy on you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but you've heard of them before, mm -hmm. right? You, I love when these people try to think they can put whammies on us and they don't know how. What they don't realize is when they die. <laughs> <laughs> once they do that, because you're not accepting it, you're like rubber to go back. And once mm -hmm. they do that, they are into more turmoil, <laughs> whatever. I don't mean to laugh, but it is kind of funny. Don't you think when they yeah, try like to too, do that? Yeah, I Because it bounces know? right back and goes Absolutely. to them. Absolutely. <laughs> I've had more. I actually had a bounty on my head at one time. 
Really? Yeah, because I said there was going to be a, a fire. A spiritual disturbed. bounty? No. A real one. Yeah, a real one. Because right. there, bu- there was a building that caught on fire after I said it was going to. Uh, and two years later, it caught on fire, and the person died because nobody would listen to me. So all of a sudden, I was a big bad witch, and I did this. Mm-hmm. I had a twenty-five thousand dollar bounty. I, I went in hiding for a while, but you know, the guy didn't have the money. You know, of course, I put my old shield around. The guy just had to have a car accident. You know, mm-hmm. but oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> but I also will tell you, who has a drinking problem? Did quite a few people in the family actually. <laughs> you said again. <laughs> Did, did you have one at one time? I did. Okay, because you're setting a good example. Okay. I've been sober 21 years, so, you know. And you also learned that, you know what, you, you defeat your own purpose. Mm-hmm. Okay. You had, there you go, that's where you had hit rock bottom. Those martinis are wonderful, aren't they? But they, they are. But they, in the end, they're not worth it. Okay. But I do, one thing I will tell you, your journey is not going to be easy. I want you to know that. There's going to be a lot of jealousy at what you're doing. So, but, there's one lady who professes to be one of your best friends and is not. You already know who she is. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, that must be Al. Yep. You know. Hello, Al. Hello, Al. Oh, I'm going to have to call Can you back. put on speaker? Yeah, I thought I had it on there. I don't want to hold that. Okay. Scott, where's the speed? Oh, here it is. Hello, Norman. Hey, Al, how we doing? Good, how's your show going today? Hey, you know what? We're having a lot of fun here. The energy's <laughs> great. We had uh, two or three call- A friend of yours by the name of Dave called. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and uh, so how are you? I got one out of three last night. Red Sox won, but the other two teams lost. Well, to take on actually, that. the basketball, the basketball that got they should have, the other team should have never ever won because the referees were idiots. Oh, you mean Milwaukee? You know? Yeah, there was a lot of bad calls on that uh, at Milwaukee, but the Brewers, you know what? They deserved to lose. They played so sloppy. Yeah, you know. I think they'll come back tomorrow night. Yeah, different Florida. They'll come. You really think tomorrow night? I think we're, we're going to make that. We're going to come out with a vengeance because of the embarrassment that that, that the Bruins had last night. Yeah, that's true. The Red Sox look good. He only Ramirez had that double in the thirteenth inning. We're going to win the World Series. What do you think? We're going to new coach. I like him. I, I like him. I, I like him because he doesn't uh, mess around. He he's straightforward, and he either you got to play for him or he's going to get rid of you. That's because Pedroia will not be, will not be able to control him. Oh, okay, you don't think so? I don't no, know. no, I know. Who is this, Al? Al Caprillion. I got some hot looking women here today, Al. How you do? Yeah. Hi. I, anyway, I we're going to talk about some showers and rumble of thunder tonight, and then we're going to have strong, gusty winds overnight. There could be some ice cream, a few scattered power outages overnight in some areas, especially hilly train of western, southwestern New Hampshire. Low tide will drop to near 30. We'll have clearing after midnight. Tomorrow we're going to have a sunny day, only 40 to 45 degrees. West like wind that. 15 to 25 with some gusts, uh, probably near 30 or so. To go into the Red Sox game, dress warmly. It will be chilly at Fenway Park for the home opener tomorrow. And then Friday, chance of snow in the morning. There could be some accumulation on Grassy and Don Cave services. It looks like it's May change to rain in the afternoon, upper 30s to a very low 40s. And then Saturday, a scattered shower, mid 40s. Sunday's dry in the mid 40s. And we have another storm threat of some snow, mixed precipitation next Monday night and Tuesday. So. We may have two more episodes of snow, normal. We'll see uh, how that pans out. Right. Remember I said, Al, there's going to be two more big storms. Yeah, well, we have one Friday more Friday and then another one next Tuesday, which may start Monday night. Right. And then we got a big heavy rain st- storm coming in the middle of April. You see a rainstorm in the middle of April, huh? Yep, yep. You know. Well, I'll give you a call Sunday night. We'll talk Sunday night. All right. You all have a good night now. 
Yeah, have a good weekend. Take you too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Thank you. I he knows I don't like hot weather. So when he, when he starts talking about the hot weather, I go. Oh, <laughs> oh no. I don't like it either. I hate the heat. Oh, I don't like the heat. You know, you know, but the one thing about knowing that you're setting an example for everybody around you, and this is why this person who portrays to be your friend, it's going to reveal itself. Mm -hmm. It's already starting to. Okay. You have a dog. I had a dog. Because the dog passed, right? Mm -hmm. You know, that dog raises hell at night around you when you're trying to sleep. <laughs> and then lays on your bed just to get you going. He also wants you to get another dog. We've been thinking about it. Okay. Don't think about it. Do what he's saying. Mm -hmm. And he said, but you can't give him his food and you can't give him his collar. Your dog was a very spoiled dog. Mm -hmm. Okay, what kind was it? She was a lab shepherd. Oh, oh she was a spoiled dog. She thought she was a man. <laughs> But she's very. She's back with her natural mother. You know, most animals that pass away, they do actually go in with their natural mother that gave them birth. You agree with that? Yeah, I okay. do. Okay, because where else are they going to go? You know. Mm. And actually, the, he he or she will send. Well, he shows it he, but that's okay. But she will send you the right dog to have. You know, I, I love it when your husband, he tries to be that tough and outer, outer exterior, the, the little deep voice. So, does he have a beard? He does. Okay, not very tall, maybe 5'9". It's being around there, yeah. yeah. Got a little belly. Depends on the day. Yeah, yes. He enjoys eating, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, yes, he no, does. He does. <laughs> he, uh, who, do you do all the cooking? I do most of it, yes. Okay. Yeah, well, he's too busy. I love the way you let him think he's a boss, like most women do, yeah. <laughs> you know. But uh, he, I also want to let you know, health-wise, I am concerned about his heart. Okay, you're gonna chase the medication that you're given to. No, folks, she is not a doctor, medical doctor. She is a doctor of natural path, holistic natural, right? Holistic. Hey, I use that big word, <laughs> Maria. You hear that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you wanna. Norm's Community Corner, do you have a question? Hey, hey, Mary. Hey, how you doing, Norm? Hey, we're doing good. How'd you make out at the doctors? Yeah, I gotta go in May uh, 11th to have uh, two different surgeries. Oh, no. But you're gonna be okay yeah. out of it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Are they, are they, are they day surgeries? Yeah, they are. They hope it is, in a way. Yeah, okay. You're going to be yeah. fine. How do you like my... Yeah. Uh, I have some great guests here, Mary. I know. I've been watching it. Yeah. I have one here. I think that, you know, I'm asking all three of them. Uh, that would be really awesome. The holistic, natural, blah, 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 doctor. <laughs> right. <laughs> but Mary has a cruising with Mary. She has her own TV show. Nice. And she also, she, was, she used to be on my show a lot. We got in to make up her mind to go on her own TV show. Okay, I've known Mary for many, many, many years. Of course, we're yeah, only we 30. we have known each other a right, long time now. Right. We're only 35, right, Mary? That's right. With a 45-year-old son, you know. But uh, <laughs> Mary makes the best. You like baked beans? You know, oh my God! She makes Once the year, best baked beans. <laughs> when she makes them, we uh, when we have our events, she has to make two pots. So other that's how fast they go. Oh wow! You know, yeah, you know. And uh, so I'm glad. So these people here, Mary, I'm excited. They each wrote a book. What's the name of your book? My book Great. is "Changing Your Life to you Become a Better You." Yeah. Changing your life to become a better you. Okay. A life by request. There you go. And then we also have a hypnotherapist. Wow, that's, I, you know, I've seen them on TV and stuff, you know, and I've been to one of them that time at the Palace Theater. Oh, yeah. You see uh, one guy doing it. Yeah. But those at the Palace Theater, they're all plot rehearsed and they're all pre yeah. and they're not really, yeah. they're more for show. Yeah. She's the real deal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I'm a firm believer in it. As you know, Mary, next month will be, oh, ne what is this, April, right? Yeah. Okay. Next month will be four years since I've had a cigarette. I know, that's great, no, yep. keep it up. Yeah, you know. And you want to tell the girls what the name of your show is? Yeah, it's Cruising with Mary. I'm on Thursday at 5 to 6, and then it's live 
And uh, I like I always say, I always thank Norm because he's the one who got me going. <laughs> there you go. And Mary, they got to, you're on Facebook too, right? Yes, I am. They can Facebook me. Uh, what do they call uh, on Facebook, Mary LeMay. If they want to friend me, they're more than welcome to. Yeah, and then when you can get on the show, on her show too. See, we're going to get you exposed. <laughs> you know, and that's the best way, right, Mary? How are the kitty yeah, cats right. doing? She's got a cat that actually says hello. And she uh, also had a, I was telling her how you have a cat that actually says hello. She does, yes. My white Siamese. Yeah. She and does, she got, yeah. yeah. She's out oh, eating right now because she kept saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I knew what she wanted. She wanted her food. Yeah. <laughs> and she got one that sits there and watches my show. That's pretty yeah, cool. She actually took pictures yeah, of it. Yeah, Crystal will sit there and watch it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know. Okay, Mary, we'll let you go and uh, keep on watching, all right? All right, you talk to you later. Yeah, bye-bye, Yeah. And I want to I think I do see with you, there is a lot more success coming. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so I love being spoiled. <laughs> then you ready for your next? Okay. How old are you? Well, I'll be 42 in a few days. You're kidding. No way. <laughs> You're kidding. Wow. I would have said 26. I Honestly, thank you. Are you, re are you really? Yes. April 15th. See, and you still had that rebelness. I love that. <laughs> That's great. That's, That's you great. You know, I love your aura. I, I think you. you have, a, all three of you, you have a lot of diamonds in your aura. I don't go, people go by aura, red aura, yellow aura, all that. Uh, I'm freaky. I'm different. I am not That's your awesome. typical. I'm sorry? That's really cool. Yeah. I'm not your typical psychic or I don't or a spiritual reader. Okay, yeah. I have a lot on stage of a dirty old man. Trust yeah. me. Okay, uh, I had a little old lady tell me how she had a problem, you know, and I told her what to do. She called me back later and said she feels better now. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of diamonds and ruby in you. I don't know more. I have real diamonds and real rubies. What does that mean? That means you are on the term of success. Wow. Okay. That means you've been a, that you are chosen to be a gifted child. Oh. Okay. You have a lot of rubies and silver, silver, gold, silver, gold. I keep seeing silver, gold, silver, gold, silver, gold. <laughs> that means you are the healer. You're on the right path for the healer. So, um, a lot of people see ours differently than I do. I don't want to be the typical reader like everybody else is, because then you get into the well, let me see, I got four decks of cards here. Uh, like, Lori, I really don't need cards, but I do it because people need that verification, yeah. you know. And uh, but, well, I see them come in with one, two, three, four different decks of cards or whatever, you know, and I think that's funny, mm -hmm. you know. Okay, I'm going to have you shuffle these for me. Ooh. Shuffle them? Yep, I need your energy. What I think I'm also looking at when you, uh, um, what's your name? Peace. 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 P-E-A-C-E. -E. Mm -hmm. I'll remember after she leaves. <laughs> you know, that, and that, are you ever that? What, you ever, are you good at remembering names? Come I see, come see. Yeah. I Did you, you see I that article that time. said if you're forgetful, you probably have a higher intelligence? Oh, I'm wrong. I'm going with that. <laughs> Me too. How about you? Are you going with that as well? Yeah, I usually forget because I think when you meet someone, there's a lot of energy and information coming at right. you. Yeah. So it's kind of yeah. hard to just right. focus on that. And I meet bit. so many people. I really do, you know. Um, and now I had a lady call me and she said, Hi, Norman, you remember me? I, you gave me a reading uh -huh. 10 years ago. <laughs> she was literally upset because I did not remember oh. all of that, you know. I can't, you know, if we remember every reading that we do, mm -hmm. what would we be mind boggled? Yeah. Okay, whatever you thread these out. Hey, by the way, this guy out here is single. You're not single, though, are you? <laughs> Well, I oh, tried. That's a big yes. <laughs> oh. I'm kind of in between. I'm oh, kind okay. of in between. I'm, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest we'll with find you. Out, you yeah. Okay. Let's, see what, let's see what he says. I don't hey, know what's going cards. on. <laughs> what am I doing? Take out five cards. Five. I, try to, I think oh, Paul probably did a relationship. Two. Oh, okay. Three. We're going to do a trivia. Or I think offic I think officially I'm still with someone, but it's. Oh. What's a trivia, between. Paul? Just give me one minute. I'll put a picture up behind you. Okay. He, he's watching. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's watching? Oh, my boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> that may 
or may not be my boyfriend. Oh. He's watching. No. He is watching. Oh, he, the pressure. Oh, okay, I'll handle it. This is what it is. Oh. oh, all right. Okay, name the movie. And I know. The two actors. You can't answer it. Okay. <laughs> okay, folks, name the movie and the two actors in this. Do you want the year two, Paul, or what? Um... Th that would be bonus, but okay. we're just looking for the movie and the two actors. Okay. The first one that calls in will get a free 10-minute re reading from me. Okay. You can leave that up there. Okay. All right. Let me see here. Yeah, we'll go back to it whenever okay. you're ready, but I'll put the uh, regular This is the beginning. You're still searching for yourself. What? Yeah. You're still searching for yourself. You're afraid, there again, you're afraid to make the big changes, and you've got to start making more big changes for you. I'm not going to go into your relationship if he's watching. I'm <laughs> you're in trouble, you know. But I don't see a, a future in it, to be honest. I'll, put, I'll just put it that way. I don't see it. Unless you both try hard mm, at it. Yeah. Okay, you both have to work at this to make it a success, okay? Mm -hmm. I also will tell you that. Ooh, you've really learned the hard way how to become where you are today. Mm -hmm. You've always been kind of a rebel. Okay. I don't see you as in the ink crowd, so to speak. Am I correct? That's okay. correct. Uh, you've always been like a, uh, when the people you hung around with, they were not considered the upper class. They were not considered the lower class. You were almost like a nerdy type mm -hmm. class. Okay. Because you're very, you know, you're very intelligent, right? Sure. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, seriously, you really are. You have a very high IQ. Okay. Okay. Just that sometimes you have a hard time facing reality for what it really is. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Also, you had a lot of things happen to you. I'm not going to go into detail, I promise. But you've had a lot of things happen to you that children should not have, 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 have happened. Okay. You understand what I mean by that, right? Not exactly, but I mean. Who was unkind? Okay, who was unkind to you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're shy about no. Okay, I won't go into that today because I can feel the wall of energy. <laughs> okay, I won't push it. Seen a lot of tragedy in your life? Not really any more than anyone else. That's not true. I mean, a lot more, but you've had to learn to handle. I'll, I'll rephrase it how to handle tragedy. Sure. Okay. You're a self taught person. You, even though you have a lot of education, and you do, am I correct? You you have you got taught yourself how to be more successful to other people, mm -hmm. okay? What well, you have the knowledge you've taken that as a basic, but then you've really taught yourself how to be more knowledgeable, okay? Mm -hmm. You have a lot more success coming, in, especially now that you're here. You, I do see you do a lot of more hypnosis. You like doing hypnosis? I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the one thing that I learned with hypnosis, and I think you'll agree, is we can still control our thoughts, minds, and souls if we want to. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't believe when these people say that, oh, the doctor hypnotized me and he, put, and he sexually assaulted me and stuff like that. I don't believe that it's possible because we can bring ourselves out. Right. And the first time I, I had it done, I brought myself right back. And, you know, so I, I have a hard time when people say, oh, I was hypnotized. I didn't know what he was doing. You agree with that? Absolutely. Okay. They're also going to be teaching hypnosis. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You have a lot of success coming to you, but you got to get rid of that negative energy around you. Okay. You really have. You got to move on. You own your own house? No. You have an apartment? Uh, <laughs> like you're living in his? No, I moved out recently. Oh, okay. That was a good thing. Okay. Okay. If you go back into the same dwelling or the same, because it'll be the same thing, nothing will change. And you won't be able to grow. Okay, and you need to grow. Your heart has that yearning, yearning to get out. Does that make sense to you? You know, you really do. You have, I got to explore more because if you don't do it now, you never will. Gotcha. Okay, and at time, and you're also going back to school. Oh God, <laughs> <laughs> I'm but, not going back to school. <laughs> that means you're changeable. <laughs> There's something about more with hypnosis, like getting a uh, PhD or something like that. Okay. I mean, okay. I'm open to learning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You're always open to asking. Yeah. I, I actually see you teaching a lot of people how to do the wise wisdom. One thing about you is you're not a good liar, so don't even try. All oh, right. Your face will turn brilliant, brilliant red. And your eyes brilliant, will brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> yeah. And your eyes will flutter all around, and you won't be able to keep what you're going. You yeah, know. I'm not a good liar. You could tell. You could do it really and have a straight face. <laughs> me? Yeah. You're a good liar. But in the end, let me say, but in the end, you would start laughing. Yeah. Okay. Right. You know. 
<laughs> financially, you're going to do okay. Okay, I'm not going to tell you you're going to be a multi-millionaire, but financially, you're going to do okay. Okay, you have a you have a determination to succeed. Okay, you have children? No. Okay. Okay. Why do I see you have? A, would you adopt a child? Not really. Yeah. Okay. Can I, I mean, if some? it happens, it happens. Yeah. But I see you holding a child. That's funny. I really do. It could be you could be taking care of somebody's child or whatever for okay. them, you know. But I do see you holding a big kids, and you are you're okay as long as <laughs> you know. Would you have made a great mother? Absolutely. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Even though, and that's the way I feel. I think kids should be over here, turned upside. Oh, I can't say anymore. <laughs> and beat on once a day, you know, like a pinata, you know, builds up character, you know. <laughs> Folks, I'm only kidding. But I also will tell you that you're going to be doing, a, in the next three years, if you allow yourself, you're going to be doing an awful lot of traveling. Okay. Not necessarily flying, but more traveling. You're going to meet a person that's going to be very compatible with you. Okay. Okay. Well, if he hears me, he hears me. I can change. Yeah, you. I wouldn't worry. No. Oh, I had that. But I also see you knew quite a while ago this relationship was coming to an end. Maybe. Okay. I know you still love him. Okay, but it's, but it would be a different, and nothing would change because you would never. Both of you would remember what happened until we get over the border of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I do know this: you don't have to cry anymore. Okay. Okay, because there's a, there's always somebody in the in the corner waiting for you. You have an awesome, awesome personality. Thank you. A little shy at times, <laughs> but uh, you can be pretty mouthy when you need to be. Boy, when you get going, honey, I'm hiding under a table. <laughs> what do you girls think? Well, hide until she calms down, right? Yep. You two know each other quite a while. Yeah. We've worked together uh, pretty closely yeah. for a while. Um, You're basically a pretty good driver. Yeah, I am. Actually. You really are. I mean, some people would say not, but I've never really gotten into accidents. I've never really had um. I tickets. don't see you with. I don't see you with a speed ticket. Thank you. <laughs> I was wondering if you were just going to put it on me because I was like, I never got a ticket. No, I've never I got an accident. You. The only concern I would have is stay a little longer at the stop sign. Okay. Okay, because otherwise than that, you, you could create a problem. Okay, but you really are basically a very. You value life. I try to. <laughs> and I think that, no, you really, and I think that's, all three of us do, or three of you or four of us, mm -hmm. but I think that's the most important part. Let go of your anger. If you're angry at your parents, it's not worth your time, okay? Because you, well, I have to be honest with you, you, you have, you don't express a lot of anger. You, you bottle it up all inside, does that make sense to you? You're a volcano ready to explode. You put it all down in here. When you're ready to explode, I'm going to get away until you come down. I would seriously mm -hmm. encourage you to write it all out, okay? Mm -hmm. And then if you get to the stage, burn it with stage. Because, darling, I pick it on her because she's cute. But, <laughs> but, darling, you have a, a beautiful heart. You really do. Whether childhood or whatever, you will never conform to other people, just to let you know, okay? And you're always going to be different, even when you're 95 to 97 years old. You're always going to be different. You're going to be saying, okay, honey, the food's over here. Go over and help me get it or whatever. You're always going to have a mind of your own. I think that's truly important, okay? And you're going to meet a lot of new people. Do you want to travel? Sure. Yeah? Five minutes. Okay. You want to do a lot, because I do see you doing a lot of traveling, but I do see you meeting a soulmate or whatever. Okay. We all have several soulmates. Okay, the one that you had, it was kind of a negative, but you was also, there were times when you had good times, but I also will tell you, I think you honestly outgrown each other, and I also think you're going to find someone, you might be a cougar, and there's nothing wrong with that, right, you know, but I also will tell you that uh, one of the things I'm looking at is you're going to be very successful with hypnosis. You, do, you also make jewelry, right? Mm -hmm. That's what you told me. I actually look at you doing very well with the jewelry. Okay. You have a freaky design. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't mean to be rude when no, I say that. No, that's true, about, actually. But your spirit designs your, your, okay, your designs cool. for you. So it's not you, do, well, you're doing it, but it's giving you the message on how to do it, okay? Gotcha. And I also see a lot of it's not, as you're doing the jewelry, I don't see it on paper, and you follow the paper, I see you doing it right from the spirit. Does that make sense mm -hmm. to you? I actually look at this some jewelry that you're going to be doing, and it's some famous like a movie actor, and I'm really serious, it sounds weird, okay? But I'm looking at either a movie actor, 
because some person very well known that is going to buy some of your jewelry and then going to recommend it so you could because online very busy okay I also will tell you there's a lot of amends that they need to make with you don't need to make it with them but they need to make with you okay and allow them to do that okay and like I said keep on doing the, the you're, you're on the right path for you Okay. okay. Thank you for allowing me to read. You. Thank you very okay. much. Okay. And all of you, thank you. I hope that was interesting. It was great. Thank too. you. Yeah. Um, if you want to, once again, let's put our websites. Okay. My website, excuse me, is natureswayholistichealth.com. Okay. And your phone number is on there? My phone number is on there. Yes. And yours? Holisticcampus.com and a life by request. There you com. Go. And I'm gonna. You have a website. Um, my Facebook page is oh, yeah. Pieces Meditation Healing Room, and my phone number is nine seven eight eight three five two nine three five. Okay, we're well, gonna get you some business. Awesome. One and anybody dare to contradict what she wrote, <laughs> uh, you're gonna settle with me. <laughs> that a fair deal? Please. Okay. <laughs> yes. And the same with you. Anybody dare to get all three of you? And the same with you. All three of you are very honest, you're very spiritual, and I want you all back on again. Thank you. Thank this you. was very fun. Appreciate yes. it. Good. Want to come back on again? Sure. All right, you? All Absolutely. Right. You're good. At, oh, ooh, I just got to mention, Paul, one second more, okay? You got, you got some, two minutes. Go oh, ahead. oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> but there's some lady that everybody has effing given up on. She is coming into your office. She's between 50 and 55 years old. You don't give up. And you going to, you believe in miracles? I do. Do you? Oh, big time. You? You are going to create the mass miracle for this woman with energy healing and some kind of um, herb that you're going to be working with her. She has these little uh, creepy sores or whatever, and she has trouble walking. And because of your love and your caring for for her, you're going to help her to help herself to be well. You already know the lady. Okay. Okay. You are going to be so busy, busy, busy that you're going to have to find to Stop worrying about your weight. You're supposed to be where you are. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we can never be as slim as she is. <laughs> never. Uh, never. You know. But the one thing is that you guys have got a lot more success coming. I'll get all. This is great to three of us. I think this is great. How? What do you think? Think we, think we can all do it it's again? Fun. I think we could. Isn't yeah. the energy fantastic? Yeah, it is good. Mm -hmm. you it know? is good. And I want to thank all three of you for coming on. Thank you for all having me. I think you. you were a great co-host oh, by the way. You. <laughs> good we'll job. take turns here. Okay. And everybody out there, this has been a wonderful, wonderful day. The energy has been very fantastic, and I want every one of you always to remember every day. You are the winner.